Huh? So I've ha I've been struggling with this. Now, a lot of it's such a case dependent thing. <laughs> like when I was looking through this, I've tried to record this video a couple times, right? I've been like, okay, yeah, here's, you know, Ito. Ito's a massively insane, great C6 character, right? I would recommend summoning for his C6 over new characters, right? I summon for new characters just because, you know, YouTube. Uh, I'm real. If I was just an Ito main, would not be that good for content. But C6 Ito is so tempting. It's so, so tempting. So it's like, I have this question. It's like, sh is summoning for constellations more beneficial now for enjoyment maybe that's a big maybe it has to be early constellations i think for it to be enjoyment because six banners because i'm i'm thinking hey yo you summon for you know the character once every single time their banner is out right and you just get one of their five stars so which you know is pretty good you know it's a decent idea right i would say am i a joke to you but then it's like for a c6 character to do that you have to do a lot like a lot ito's banner how many reruns has ito had i think it is legitimately like two ito has only had two banners so ito you would have him at c1 if you followed what i did and he's been out for almost two maybe a year i, I think it's two years yeah it would be two years so he's been out for almost two years. So you would have to wait still to get his C2, which I consider pretty good. It takes away one of his negatives, which is another thing that constellations do. If you have any ideas on this, you know, hey, put them in the comments. You know, I always read the comments. You know, you should subscribe while you're down there, you know, to do it. Um, but overall, Ito, I say, is a good character to summon for all the time, right? I don't think that if you're summoning for Ito and you like his playstyle and you summon for more of Ito, once you get to the c6 once you get to the c5 even and then even his board like all of his constellations are decently good like none of these are bad constellations i would say these are pretty good constellations for ito right ah! it should have been me not him so ito's pretty good uh in terms of you know value per constellation i would say now if we talk about a character like Zhongli, which is another thing like Zhongli has possibly the worst constellations ever uh, besides getting his jade shield higher which doesn't even matter because you never break it unless you just don't move and take the hits this is only good if you're playing co-op this is just you know what i said and then this is not really useful that much this is his meteor not really useful and then this isn't useful because your characters aren't going to take damage and it's also c6 not no that not good Zhongli's constellations not good so in this situation i have to say no don't summon for his constellations so it's very character based right i wish i could say like oh and then let's look at nahida when do you stop summoning for nahida's constellations right that's the neat thing you don't this is good this is good this is more damage this is more damage and also you know more em so you can provide maybe more em depending on what your nahida's em is a whole thing you could possibly have 900 em and get the extra 100 because you affected one opponent so now you're giving the full 250 em buff to your characters right on your nahida like nahida would allow your characters to go crazy and then this is also good and then i don't know if this is good this seems pretty good for like a hyper bloom team like i don't know how crazy this effect is because i've never seen it in action but it feels pretty this seems like it would do pretty good damage i'm expecting like maybe 100k or something you guys let me know if it's a people who actually know what c6 nahida does this seems pretty good for like a hyper bloom team like my hyper bloom team where i'm running kooky and then you know the off to the hydros and then you know you know Hida, obviously and then Kazuha, he's another character that it's like, okay, well, you also, you know, that, that's, this is pretty good. And then you also get this, which is pretty good for any characters who want to do reactions. And then you get this, which is, you know, more damage, which isn't that much because he doesn't crit. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Um, but then you get this, and this is pretty good just because... Kazuha, I have found, will struggle for energy at a bare minimum level. So this would fix that issue that I have with my Kazuha. And I wouldn't have to farm for artifacts. 
this is just you know regular old things i don't think it would help out that much because i think it does cap out like the elemental damage here and all this i think that caps out i just think it does more damage with this and then you get this which isn't really like too huge this is just a different way to build kazua but like kazua's constellations have value all the time so it's a very case based like how do you guys feel about this i personally feel like you know if you love a character and their constellations are good and they're not like zhongli level or kokomi level constellations no 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 wait 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 like this is a pretty good effect like c2 shinha is pretty good and then you also get the talisman which i don't think does oh no it is level 20 oh uh, yeah i do i don't know why i said level 20 why did i say that but it would give you more attack damage bonus like this just gets better and better like shinha the more i look at her constellations like the more some of them seem like they could be useful for the future and then we, i also talked about yoimiya in a previous recording of this but yeah i really really think that a couple of these characters you know if they got a rerun and you use these characters basically religiously and you love these characters and you're like invested into these characters like you and me i was talking about her and it was like this this is pretty good and then overall i think you know i had to look up her kqm because i had to make sure that this did actually interfere with her icd because i wanted to make sure i was right about that uh, which it does uh but yeah you and me uh, you know even this is still a damage increase over you know possibly messing up your vaporizes right what the most clear and cut like summon for this character if you like them and you love playing them and you want to see them destroy is this character right just summon two extra constellations like even if you wailed out i don't even think you would regret it honestly even free to play weapon she still would dominate the game now this is me using c6 kujosara bennett and kazua right but honestly you know i had pretty good luck on my ride in summons you're probably gonna get you know c6 kujosara before you get c2 raiden you know but just looking at certain characters like nilu is possibly one of the worst characters to c6 because i was looking at her i think this is possibly her best constellation which isn't that huge it is 35 percent denja res which is that now that is huge 35 percent i am curious to see like is is that you know is, is that you know as good as i think it is let me know in the comments three or four times maybe i gonna pump those numbers up those are rookie numbers in this racket i just think i think that's overall what i wanted to say in this video like it is viable to summon for constellations even if you're like free to play just summon for constellations on characters because realistically ito can be countered right I, i've had ito be countered in certain instances where he's like almost in the new abyss i took him into the new abyss and he almost failed because the shield for the character went up as he was like one shot i'm talking like i could not even see the guy's health that's how low it was if my ito crit one singular extra time on the final boss there on the cryo guys where they they love doing the dance thing the two lady and the lady and the man or whatever mechanical piece they are right i don't know but but i almost failed because ito is just a geo character who doesn't do reactions right you can be countered like that but i have yet to experience that unless it's literally electro slimes i have yet to experience to be countered did i make this video with the entire intention of promoting c2 raiden and saying that it is possibly the best investment i have ever made yes that is the reason why this video exists you can thank c2 raiden thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye